We've talked a lot about Survivor Series 88. We'll skip that for now, but it happened on the 24th. Big crowd there. Let's talk about December 6th. Daytona Beach, the Ocean Center. This is the same building where Hulk Hogan became a bad guy and joined the NWO. But they're doing a Superstars taping here for France. Uh, This is a fascinating time in the business where we're doing different tapings for different syndicated networks. And this is the time where you wrestled Tom McGee. Uh, the write-up is Tom McGee defeated Arn Anderson by count out at 544 following a super kick, which knocked Anderson out to the floor, 10,000 plus here in the building. We've talked about this a little bit. You want to mention to us again, what you remember about, uh, Tom McGee and your single match here in, in Daytona. Well, I have come to find, find out that, um, apparently it was a three match series. It was me and Tom. DiBiase and Tom, Brent and Tom, Brent Hart, different TV tapings. And uh, it was all the dark match. There were dark matches before the show started and all that. And it, it was basically to find out, other than a punishment, which I, I never looked at it as bad, but a test, yes. Number one, to see what he had. Uh, and number two, to see how I handled doing the, doing the favor for him. Um, of course that was a test in those days. And you're, you know, the worst thing you could say is why are they beating me? The answer would be, they're going to beat you every week after that. Right. That's just a biggest no, no there is other than being a thief or being just totally reckless. Why are they beating me? Just don't fly. Why not beat you? Who can you beat? You know, would be my question. Is there anybody you can actually beat? Uh, but uh, Tom had an incredible look, incredible body, was an incredible athlete. And as we know, that doesn't necessarily translate into becoming a great professional wrestler. A lot of great athletes in different genres have came through our industry, and it's, it's totally different from anything anybody's ever done. And uh, – for whatever reason, uh, Tom just never worked out and kind of just disappeared off the planet. Yeah. We brought him back for Starcast two in Vegas and it was, uh, it was quite the happening to get to relive that match and, and watch it with Brett and Tom. Uh, here's one from RCS 88. Was Tom McGee your only singles match in the WWF? Hmm. I don't think so. I think uh, when one of the Bushwhackers, one of them got hurt and Tully and I alternated out working a single match and one of us would be on the floor and one would re- wrestle the single match. Uh, we had a whole couple of loops of that. Uh, other than that, it, Tom McGee might have been the only one. He was the only dark match I think I had that was a single. And it was basically just to see what he had. Uh, Jeremy says the first time I saw you guys on a WWF TV match, a pop-up window showed an interview of you guys during the match and Tully made a comment like, look at what we're doing to these guys who came up with that idea and how was it received in the locker room? It was freaking great. Well, I don't know how great it was. (laughs) It was probably, I'm sure it was scripted because that's not, I think we would have taken a more sophisticated approach than yeah. just look what we're doing to those guys. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'll go on record and say those were scripted. Juan wants to know, was there ever any talk of you and Tully splitting up for singles action during your WWF run? I could have seen either one of you guys having a run with the intercontinental title. Thank you, sir. But no, sir. And it wasn't a broke and that wasn't something that we would be willing to fix. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.